Okay, beautiful women. So I, I truly, truly, truly highly recommend that you watch the, um, the prequel to this video, which is all about the four energies that you need to attend to before you manifest powerfully or the four energies archetypes that must be in alignment uh, in order to manifest powerfully. Um, so I go into each of the energies with much more detail than I'm about to. Um, this video is really the ritual. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. I'm all about really simple rituals that you could just do while you're lying in bed if you needed to. Um, um, the ritual that you can do uh, with these four energies, archetypes, parts of yourself to bring them into greater alignment. So this is a great ritual to do, um, to circle back to every once in a while, um, initially maybe more often, maybe like once a week or once a month, um, or something to come back to every few months to just kind of create deeper relationship with these parts of yourself that are necessary to be in alignment before you begin calling in um, to make sure all these different parts, these four parts of yourself are nourished. So the ritual is a four directions prayer. So you may be familiar with the four directions, many traditions uh, across the, the globe um, uh, resonate with praying to the four directions, east, south, west, and north. Um, and the energies of the east, one of the energies of the east is the inner child. And I talk about the inner child and the importance of creating a relationship with your own inner child, your own little girl, um, in my previous video that I just mentioned. Um, so when I am praying to the east, in this particular ritual, I'm really bringing in uh, an inquiry of what, in regards to my inner child, what wants to be released and let go of, and what wants to be called in, what answers, divine downloads, information wants to be called in. So for example, when I, I recently did this ritual, and what came in for my inner child is, I, there's, there's an aspect of me that is very awkward, kind of awkward and silly, like awkward and goofy. And I definitely had, like that was me to a T when I was a little girl. Um, but there's a way that I, I hold some self-judgment around that. And so when I was doing this prayer and really aligning with my inner child and like what wants to come in, it was like to add in the word sweet to that word awkwardness, when the judgment of like, oh, you're being awkward, oh, that's silly, you're being too goofy, uh, when that comes in, to just really also tap into the, the, the sweetness that goes along with my awkwardness, that people that love me experience my awkwardness and my goofiness as something that's just very sweet and endearing, and to just kind of breathe into that as well. So that's what came in for me and my inner child. Um, so as you're engaging with the East, to just call in anything that wants to be called in and really nourishing and deep self-care of your inner child. And I talk about the importance of nourishing your inner child as it relates to manifestation uh, in the previous video. So please watch that so you get a little more context. Um, Energy of the South, energy of the, of the South, we're focusing on may, um, the maiden, the archetype of the maiden, in this case, our inner power, our inner power. So as I'm praying to the South, uh, you can pray through dance, you can pray through you know, taking a delicious bath or just lying in bed and doing some stretching. I, I do encourage you to be like in your body while you're in this prayer. But as you're opening up to the wisdom of the South and the archetype and the energy of your inner power, uh, your, uh, your, how you move through the world or how you uh, show up in your relationship or your relationships in regards to your inner power, um, I want you to be thinking about what do I need to release in this moment? What needs to be released uh, so I can be more uh, in my inner power and what needs to be what needs to be called in what do I need to receive what messages 
uh, downloads information wants to be received in regards to the purity of my inner power. So that is the prayer to the south. Um, what was received for me when I was praying to the south in regards to my inner power was for me to bring in more dance. When I'm dancing, that is often when I feel most authentically powerful. Um, also, when I dance, I often, I often tend to receive deep downloads and answers. So I haven't been dancing enough recently. And what spirit, the answer, what spirit really came through really, really strong as I was uh, sending my prayers to the south uh, around my inner power was to dance more. That's like a, my direct connection to my power, often through movement and dance. Um, West. Let's talk about the direction of West. So the energy, one of the energies of the West is the archetype of the mother. And I talk a lot about the mother archetype in my previous video, uh, video one of this uh, two-part uh, video series, little mini series. Um, so energy of the mother also as I'm uh, communicating with the West and really tapping into my own relationship with myself as a mother, the mother of my business, clients, my, my child, uh, if you have children, or my own relationship, the messages that I received from my own mother, what wants to be released, and what do I want to open up, what messages, divine downloads, information do I need to receive so that I'm right with my mother, my internal mother archetype. And as I was doing this ritual uh, earlier today, what came in uh, for my mother archetype was fun. It's like my son is a teenager right now and, uh, and just the deep, deep understanding that the best way that I can show up with him right now is to have really have fun with him. He needs a lot of space and autonomy and there are times where I do need to kind of get on his case, but really to just like be in the pleasure and the joy and the fun of having a teenager. Um, and just to also when I'm in the role of a facilitator, which is kind of a, a mothering role uh, in a sense, to also just be really, give myself lots of permission to just have fun when I lead circles or when I'm uh, hosting events, that just to really the, be in the fun of connection and that that's really what people will resonate with in an authentic way. Um, the final direction uh, is north, and north is often a, holds the energy of the chrome, like ancient wisdom. Uh, but you could also think of the north as representation of your higher self and the ways that we open ourselves to divine guidance and to source. Um, and so as you're praying to the north, uh, any prayers for anything that needs to be released, and any information that wants to come in around how you can be in greater connection with your higher self on a regular basis, in greater connection with source, in greater connection with your ancestral, ancestral information that wants to come through. Um, so as I was uh, earlier today doing this ritual and do it, sending my prayers to, uh, to the north, um, what came through to me was just more nature. I have this big beautiful tree right out here outside of this window and I haven't really created a much relationship with that tree. I personally receive a lot of beautiful like grounding wisdom and information when I'm like communicating with, with trees or just kind of calling on their energies, being out in nature more. I have not been out in nature as much as I know that I need and what really came through during my prayer today was to be out in nature and to really let earth, let, let Gaia source me. I don't have to source everything myself. So that is the simple, beautiful prayer and ritual to, uh, to face or intend uh, your attention towards the east, energies of the inner child, anything that wants to be released or anything that wants to be called in, to put your attention on the no choo-choo. <laughs> on the, uh, the south and to really focus on your inner power and anything that wants to be released or called in to focus your attention on the energies of the west and the archetype of the mother within you without you uh, that anything that wants to be released anything that wants to be called in and to put your attention on the energies of the north crone wisdom ancient wisdom your higher self 
um, and anything that needs to be released to open up that channel and anything that wanted to be anything that wants to be called in. Um, and I want to invite you to just play around with this prayer in your own way through dance through relaxation, through self-massage, through stretching, to just be in an embodied prayer and in and a deep, curious inquiry with these four archetypes, these four energies that we as women, we all have, we all hold, that must be in alignment, must be tended to and cared for before we can powerfully call in the life that we're the next thing, the next thing that we're calling in to really get into alignment first. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope this is, uh, seems uh, simple enough for you. I'll include the, uh, just an outline of this ritual down below um, uh, here on YouTube. So uh, thank you so much for your attention, your energy, and I hope, I hope you enjoy. All right, beautiful. Mm -hmm.